If you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on this post notification, and shop that merch, sydneyforsight.com. So, as we all know, um, the coronavirus is spreading like crazy. Um, there are already two cases in the county, not even in the city, in the county where I live. Today's video is going to be all about how to stay positive, how to stay busy and happy, and just like continuing on with our lives with all this craziness happening. If you guys have not heard of social distancing, it is kind of like the thing that you do to avoid getting the virus, not only because you will get sick if you get it, but you could get someone who might die from it sick. Like if I got it and I hung out with my grandma and she got it, that would be very dangerous. And the thing is that you won't know that you have it until it's too late. So social distancing is very important. And today I'm gonna to be doing a day in my life of like social distancing and show you how to still have fun. Before I continue with today's video and the reason I'm in the bathroom is because it is sponsored by Lucetta Hair Products. If you have not heard of them, I will be talking about them later when I get in the shower and do some self-care pampering, so stay tuned. And if you don't think that this is already super important and you're still one of those people that's like, oh, it's fine, I'm just gonna keep going out. I know people personally who are quarantined because of this because they come from other countries and a lot of people I know are social distancing and it's a lot crazier than you might think if it is not affecting you yet it will and that is why we're doing things to prevent it and that is why I wanted to make this important video to share with you guys so you can still have fun be happy and all that good stuff while chilling at home or just distancing from people unless you are quarantined you don't have to stay at your house you can like go to a park anywhere where there's not like a large group of people basically so I'm very fortunate to work from home and if you're not that fortunate and your job has not been canceled yet then obviously you're still gonna have to go to work just take precautions wash your hands um, if you can stay at home then join me in this journey also one more thing all of the schools around me have been canceled for I think it's three weeks so we have a three week spring break so if that doesn't show the severity then I don't know what does so the first thing we're gonna do this morning is do a little workout on YouTube I would highly suggest avoiding gyms that is literally where people get sick all the time they probably have gotten sick from the gym and don't even know it but there are plenty of free workouts online. I watch Chloe Ting. She has amazing workouts. She has full programs for free. So she's a really good YouTuber to watch to do some workout videos. I'm doing the full body, no jumping workout to burn fat thigh, fat low impact cardio. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't worked out in a fat minute, so I'm kind of just getting back into it. But 16 minutes, anyone can work out for just 16 minutes. So here we go. Okay, that was like easy but hard at the same time. I had to take off my shirt because I was sweating so much. I was so hot, but we made it through it. Now we're back in the bathroom where I get to do my favorite thing today, which is shower. I love showering. It's like literally one of my favorite activities. I just feel so fresh and clean. And I love sitting in the warm water. But I'm gonna do a bath slash shower. I'm gonna shave my legs, exfoliate, wash my hair real good, do a hair mask, do a face mask. And I also wanna tell you guys about these amazing products that I have, Lucetta. All of my products came in this beautiful box. If you have not heard of these products, let me just tell you a little bit about them. These are salon grade hair care with natural ingredients and cruelty free. And they're safe for color treated hair. My hair might be a mess, but it has no brassy tones. It is the color that I got when I dyed it and I've been upkeeping it with these purple shampoos. It also strengthens and smooths dry, damaged, and color treated hair. It also has intense nourishment, which helps fix split ends and just makes your hair overall like healthier. I cannot express as 
someone who values hair care and the health of my hair, how important it is to have a really good shampoo and conditioner. They also have a great hair mask and this perfecting spray. Shout out to Lucetta Hair Products. Go check them out. The best part is that it is online, so you can still social distance yourself while shopping online. And you can use my code SYDNEY for 15% off, so check them out in the link below. Now for me to go use all my lovely products that I love so much in my shower. And I'll see you guys after. Although I won't really be like going out or seeing anyone today, I find it really important for like my mental health that I still like get ready, get dressed, and do my makeup and my hair and just feel like more confident and beautiful for myself. Otherwise, I'll just be trapped in my house, sad, and no one wants that. We gotta fight through this and stay positive, so I'm gonna do my makeup. Always moisturize. Okay, ready for this great transition of my makeup being done? Ta-da! I don't know if that transition worked. <laughs> I just did a super simple makeup, just enough to make me feel confident and happy and like I'm actually doing stuff. I feel like I kind of have an advantage over this whole self-quarantine or social distancing thing because I already work from home and I never really leave my house except to go to restaurants and stuff. And I know that that's gonna be really hard, not only for me, but for everyone. But we can do it. Going along with that, I'm gonna go make some food. Food. So I am gonna suggest to you guys, but then I'm gonna contradict it and not do what I'm telling you guys. This is a really good time to like eat healthy and treat your body good because we gotta be stuck at home, so we may as well be healthy and we really need to be healthy right now. I don't know why I'm still in the fridge. That was a really good time to learn how to cook healthy meals and to make food for every single meal since we shouldn't really be going out. But I'm gonna contradict myself here. We went out for like the last time the other day and so we still have leftovers and I don't really feel like cooking so I'm just gonna make my leftovers but the rest of the day, I'll make actual food. Hey Ace. I saw a funny meme that was like, our pets when they realize we have to stay home all day and then they were like super excited. So in today's video, I do wanna suggest to you guys some stuff that you can do while you're at home. I'm not gonna do them all today because today's just one day. But I've been getting into puzzles a lot lately and I have this a thousand piece puzzle that I'm gonna work on over the course of the next who knows how long. So that's a really good entertaining thing you can do at home. So learn how to play video games. That one's not as productive, but that's what I'm gonna be doing. You could binge watch new shows. Also not as productive, but I will be doing. And I'm not gonna sit here and lie. I know we're all gonna just be watching Netflix, but sometimes I get bored of Netflix. So another thing you could do, which I actually did the other day, is do some nice spring cleaning. <laughs> this closet, it now, this is like my second closet, so I keep my dresses and all my coats in here. It now just has like bags and suitcases, but it used to be filled with all this crap. I went through the closet, cleaned it out, and went through all of my clothes and made a donate pile, so there's something productive you can do. Or just work on house projects in general. Right now, Dallin is installing, I just poked myself, that really hurt. Right now, Dallin is installing our, nest what's it called? Hello. Our Nest Hello, it's like the doorbell thing with a camera. We've had it since Black Friday and had yet to install it because we had to drill a hole through our exterior wall. But we finally did it and house projects, good to go. I also need to put together my new nightstand. My feet are really cold. I'm gonna put on some socks. You know, putting on socks might be a very random thing to do in a vlog, but you know, when you're at home all day, what are you supposed to do? Try my best out here. Okay, but on a real note, and I always see TikToks about this, like, life does not feel real right now. We, as a generation, have never lived through something like this. Like, last week, I was going out to some restaurants, and a lot of them had put up all of their seating. You could only go through the drive through or do online pickup orders. It's just crazy. Like, what is happening? I don't want to spend this whole video just talking about the virus and how crazy life is, but that's like what our life is right now. I think it's important to document it and also I'll be able to show my kids this one day and be like, 2020 was really wild and out here, okay? And this is so crazy because it's probably going to happen in like the whole country soon, but I have friends and family who live in California and certain parts have literally like shut down. 
Like you can only go to grocery stores and even that barely has anything. All restaurants are closed down. Like pretty much everything is closed down and people just stay in their houses. So yeah, once again, that's just why it's important that we all stay in our houses now. Otherwise we're all gonna get quarantined and we literally won't be able to leave our houses and we don't wanna get our old people sick because they won't survive and we just gotta be smart. So that's why I'm trying to avoid going out at all costs. If you guys need to go out or I go out because I'm not the type of person that can just sit at home all day, um, Definitely only use drive throughs online orders, go to parks, like just stay away from people as much as possible. Wow, I swear I'm cold like all the time. I have some great merch that's super soft inside and keeps me warm. Shameless plug. If you can't tell, I'm in my studio right now, which is where I do all of my work for YouTube. I have multiple videos to edit and things to work on. So I'm gonna actually get some stuff done and then once I get done if I get it all done then I'm gonna play some video games and this might sound crazy and I don't know if I'm actually gonna go through with it so I'm kind of scared to talk about it on my ch main channel but I think I'm starting a second gaming channel kind of crazy but I really enjoy playing video games and I just I don't know I thought it'd be fun oh I need to put this sticker I have on my laptop I'm starting to sticker bomb my laptop Vans, because that's all I wear. Razor, because that's all of my gaming stuff. My gaming headphones with the cat ears, you know. Boyd is the company that manages me, and my brother owns it, so gotta support. And I'm always drinking out of my Yeti, which I'm actually using as a tripod right now, so gotta put this sticker on now. I should have decided where I wanted it. I'll just go right there, actually. Yay, a pop of color. I just hear the doorbell. I'm probably down installing it. Where's my laptop charger? Why is my desk a mask? Dallin was like drilling holes in the wall and now my desk has a bunch of crap all over it. I hate being messy. I have to clean it before I do anything actually. I don't know where my laptop charger went. Here's a quick funny story time for today. Well, me and Dallin have been sharing a laptop charger because I didn't know where mine was. And when we went on our trip to South Carolina for my mom's wedding, I said, do you have your laptop charger? And I saw one in the studio, but I thought maybe he grabbed mine, which I thought was in the living room in a basket. And he was like, yeah, I have my charger. So we get to South Carolina. I go to edit a video. We both don't have a charger. Luckily, my brother's both there. They have their laptop chargers, so it's fine. We get back and we're letting my brother Michael borrow Dallin's laptop and charger and everything because he's editing something. Then I was like, wait, where's my charger? The whole time I'm looking for it. Then I asked, I'm like, oh wait, Michael has my uh, our charger. So then I'm like, okay, well, we lost my charger, so where is it? And I kept saying, it's in the living room in a basket. I know it is. So I kept looking in this one basket where we keep all the blankets. I was like, I know it's here. Where did it go? Like, what happened to it? And then as I'm sitting there getting super stressed, as Dallin sees, there's another basket in the living room on top of our Wi-Fi box. So then he goes and looks in it, and there it is. Right there. Plain sight. My charger's there. Thought I lost it this whole entire time of like two months. But now we have it, so we're good. And now I can edit my video. All right, I finished the rough cut of the last video that I posted. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and go fill up my Yeti, get some water, stay hydrated, you know. Whoa, it's like magic. It's like clean in here now. Thanks, babe. Yeah. You're the best. What are you doing? I'm cleaning the cat water. Oh, yay, we love when the cats have fresh, clean water. Oh, there was a cat there I didn't even know. Hi. He loves hanging out whenever I'm doing the sink. Oh yeah, He's Ace like, is always this. sitting in the sink. He's not interested right now. Oh, oh there, it, there is. it is. He loves water, but he's kind of scared of it. <laughs> he just does this. He like. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, wait, where to go? A struggle with being home all the time is that I snack when I'm bored. I don't really ever get hungry. I get snacky, so I try not to have unhealthy snacks in the house because I'll eat them all in like 10 seconds. So I made some veggies. Um, I just have some cut up bell peppers and some carrots and some ranch and that'll be my snack. <laughs> Yay, I finally got done editing and making the thumbnail and all that fun stuff. So if you have not seen the video with this thumbnail where Dallin got me ready, which was my last video, then go check it out. Me and Dallin always work together on all the YouTube stuff. So can you come approve my thumbnail? Do you think this looks good? 
Oh, I like I the, the pop. Good. You popped it pretty good. Yeah. I like it. Good? Good. Okay. Sometimes he has to change like everything, so I always feel good because I'm good at titles and stuff, and then he's good at thumbnails. Oh, so. yeah. My hands are dry again. Can you bring me lotion? Mm, soft hands. Whoa, this looks so weird. Ah, uh, why does it look so weird? It probably doesn't even look that weird, but it looks weird to me. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Let's play some games. Where is my controller? That was probably really loud, I'm sorry. Where's my controller? Oh, there it is. All right, time to play some games. And I already know this video is probably super long, so I'm probably just gonna play games the rest of the day and make some dinner, hang out at the house, you know, self-quarantine, whatever I'm doing here. And that's it, that's the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, thank you to Lucetta for sponsoring this video. And I hope this video was fun, entertaining, but also informative and helpful about how to have fun at home and how to stay safe from COVID-19. Let's not get sick. <laughs> Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.